you guys own an Oculus Quest and want to be able to stream wirelessly with no cables, I'm going to show you how right after this. What's up guys, my name is Junior aka Semi and welcome to Semi 2 Tech, the channel that brings you everything from product reviews, tech reviews, app reviews, all the way to live streaming and live gaming and everything else in between. So if you like all that stuff plus more, then stay tuned to this channel. Looking for a great IPTV service? Then guys come over here and check out the sharkitv.com. It's a great service for a great price. Look at this great website, gives you all the information you need on the service. They offer free trials. For zero dollars, a one month connection for four connections at ten dollars, and a ninety day connection for four connections at twenty eight dollars. Look at that great prices, guys. What more can you ask for? But wait, look at the great APK available for you guys to use. Look at this, right here on live TV. You get all these channels, nine thousand channels, guys. Great channels available all around the world. Look at all this for you guys to use, guys. What more can you ask for? So go ahead and get your service today. You won't regret it. All right, guys, thanks for coming back. I do appreciate all the love and support you guys show the channel. Remember, when I continue supporting the channel, all you gotta do is like all my videos, share all my videos, comment all my videos, and if you still haven't done so, subscribe and enable bell notification. Why? Guys, that's gonna notify you every time I drop a new video or go live on this channel. And trust me, guys, you do not wanna miss. I bring all sorts of type of things to this channel, everything from app reviews, tech reviews, you name it, I do I do unboxing. I'm trying to do some more vlogs, or even start one at least. But you guys, but with the whole COVID going on, it's very hard to do it and go out and do any kind of type of vlogs. But anyways, enough of all that, what I'm trying to bring to you guys. What I'm trying to bring to you in this video, guys. Okay, so as you guys all know, and you see many of my videos, I talk about my Oculus Quest. And one thing I like about it, this Quest, the Quest is portable, which allows you to bring it anywhere you want as long as you got a carrying case or something, or you can bring it just how it is, just as headset itself, as long as you got the two remotes with you, you're fine. But I consider getting a, um, a carrying case just because it keeps everything together. All right. And the one thing a lot of people are having trouble doing when they have the Quest is they want to be able to stream on the computer, able to give picture and sound of what I'm hearing and seeing on the Quest itself. So there are many ways people are doing it, you know. There's people have done videos how to do it this, this way, and this way. And most one of the most common ways people are doing it right now is, well, I don't know now anymore, uh, but people are still doing it this way, is they're actually going out and buying a Google Chromecast Ultra. It's one of the devices that you hook up to HDMI and, and a Chromecast, whatever's on here, on the Quest, onto the screen because I don't know if you guys know, this has a built-in, that this has a built-in Chromecast transmitter. So you could display on your TV if it has a built-in Chromecast, or you could display to a Chromecast adapter, which are pretty cheap, if you, if you, depending how you buy it. So if you go to OfferUp, Leco, or Facebook Marketplace, you could probably find a used one for really cheap, anywhere from like 10 to $15. They're not that expensive. Or you can probably find a cheap one, new or used, on eBay for pretty cheap, you know? But if you go to Amazon or Best Buy or um, Walmart, any of those big chain stores, you're gonna spend anywhere from 35 to $45, depending on what sales they have going on and everything. So it can get pretty expensive. So, but with the problem with that is, when you're doing casting from your Google Chromecast, it's not producing sound. So what does that give you? Now you have to buy more equipment to be able to produce the sound. There's two ways people have been doing this to produce the sound, all right? And then both method works. The first method is people have been doing it with a Bluetooth transmitter. They hook up a Bluetooth transmitter, which I bought because I'm thinking I'm gonna use it, and also with the Chromecast. And then the, the Chromecast doesn't attach to this. So all you gotta do is put the transmitter here you know, attach it here somewhere and then plug it into one of these headphone jacks here. Great. So now you got sound and video wirelessly. Great. But a Bluetooth receiver could cost you 
at least another forty dollars. Plus, if you buy a brand new the Google Chromecast Ultra, you're spending forty dollars. I'm just throwing the even numbers out to do the math easy. So forty and forty is eighty. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot of money for just to stream. And then you still have to buy the cables to make it look neat and everything. And after all that's done, sometimes it doesn't look as nice as you want because you have the Bluetooth transmitter here. It looks a little funky. Or fine. You want to stream, but you don't want the bulkiness. There's another method you can use. You can you get a, a very long three and a half millimeter headphone jack, male to male. Let's say you get a 25 foot or 50 foot one. So you can net it to your computer. So now you got sound and then with the Chromecast device, you're able to cast your video. So great. Now it went from $80 down to $40. Awesome. You save half the money by doing it that way. But the problem is with that is you're still connected and you still got to spend those $40. The method I'm going to show you today will let you stream wirelessly with video and sound, no hardware at all needed to buy. You don't have to buy any type of hardware. All you need to have is your Oculus Quest and one software that will work on your computer. And full disclaimer, before I show you that app that I'm talking about today, this only works on PCs. So all my Mac users, I'm sorry, but you still have to use the old method way that costs more money. Until they have, they might already have this app available for Mac. I don't own a Mac anymore. I gave a Mac about a year ago, got rid of my iPhones and my Mac laptops, my desktops. I got rid of all my Mac products. I just went strictly PC and Android now. So I couldn't tell you if it, they have the app available yet for this, but it's an app that I'm going to show you. You get this from the Microsoft store. As long as you sign in with some Microsoft credentials, you'll be all set. And you, you're going to ask, okay, so is it a free software? No, it's not free, but it's so cheap. It'll blow everything you needed before to a fraction of the price. I'm not going to tell you how much it is. I'm going to show you how much it is. So let's go ahead, shrink myself down, put my screen a little bit smaller and sh go onto my computer and show you how much everything is and get it straight from the store. And I'll show you the, how everything works on the app, on the quest and how everything connects and everything's still working. All right. So let's go and shrink myself down as we just did now. And you see, I already have my Microsoft store open as it's right there. You see, it says Microsoft store right there. This is the home page. There's nothing there. I'm already signed in. The reason I didn't open it and everything because I don't want to give out my credentials and everything on screen. So this just makes it easier. So basically you go to your, you go to your home computer, you open up the window tab and you type in Microsoft store or type in store and then something called Microsoft store will pop up and you just click on it and I'll give you this screen right here. Very simple guys. So once you get to here, the one app you're going to search for, right? Go up here to the search and type in air receiver. I know I spelled this completely wrong. Right there. You see right there? Air receiver app. Click on that. And this is the app you're going to get right here. All right. So as, as you see, this product is installed. I already own this. It's already installed on my computer, so I don't have to rebuy or anything. So right now it's been like this. I've had this software for about, I want to say six months, five months now. Um, maybe a little bit shorter than that. Uh, might have been a little bit smaller. I can't really remember exactly how long I had this software for, but this is a software you want to get air receiver. Very simple. As you see right now, it's for three forty nine. It's three dollars and fifty cents, guys. Like I said, it's a fraction of what you would have spent. Not even a quarter. Not even a. Not even a tenth. I think. No, less than a tenth of the price of what you would have spent. Right, see, original price is $550, $549, but they do have the 36% off right now, which is two, equals to $2. I just say $2. It's been like that for a while, so I don't know if it's a marketing scheme or anything, but that's the software you're going to get, and that's all you need. Really, that's all you need. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up the software because I have it right down here, as you can see right here. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to bring over the screen. 
So right now it's searching from my, it's saying my old, my computer name right here. And this was my old name for my old channel, but I never changed the name on the computer, but it's all good. It doesn't really matter. So right now it's gonna show your computer name and it's gonna look for device. So once you get here, open the app up and everything, you get it running, you're gonna get the screen and you see it's waiting for connection from client. What you're gonna do next is hop into your, your quest, put it on. All right, and I'm gonna go ahead and get everything set up here. All right, guys, so once you put it on, you're all set, you're ready to go. Now, you see we're on my homepage now. Uh, first thing you wanna do is go right down here where it says the little, the little buttons right here. Click on that, and you're gonna have these options. Recording, take pictures, go live, and cast. You wanna click on cast. Click on that, and then when that loads up, you're gonna see all these available connections to cast to. Just look for your computer name. My, like we saw earlier, my says semi tuning. We're gonna click on that, click on semi tuning, hit next, and now it's gonna connect. Now you see it says connecting is starting to cast. You see it on my screen. Right now we see everything that's showing on my screen. And as you can see, if you go over, you hear everything. You see how you hear everything? You hear everything? So now we're casting the computer and we have sound. No wires connected, as you see, there's no wires. The only two wires I have hanging here are my headsets that I have when I put it on. And this gives the option to still hear your thing on your, on your headsets here. So as we're moving along here, I can still hear it here and I hear it off my computer. Look at that guys. Look how easy that is guys. Now, you want you want to be able to set this up on like OBS or something like that so you're able to use it. Perfect, not a problem. I'm gonna go now open, put these down real quick. I'm gonna go open up OBS. Come on, well, I'm gonna take off my headset. Well, I'm gonna hold the action button here. So you can still see it's playing. So let's say I wanna open OBS. Open OBS. I'm just gonna open my normal OBS, the one I use to stream any of my games or anything. So basically, I'm gonna move this over here so you guys can see what's going on. This is all my stuff here. So I'm gonna use the I'm gonna use the main one since it's an empty one, just to demonstrate. Now I want to be able to add this screen onto my screen here. So all I'm gonna do is hit over here, add, hit the plus sign, and you want to hit Window Capture. Just hit that one, name it whatever you want. I'm gonna name my um, quest cast. Just to make it easy, name it whatever you feel comfortable. It doesn't matter what you name it, as long as you know how to find it. So as you see, it brings this window. Once you name it, you see the pro property of is for quest cast. So all I'm doing is editing that one file that I created. So over here, when it says Windows, you wanna click on here and find air receiver, which is right here, boom. So now you see that's the only screen that's shown there. Hit OK. And now you can move it here. If you want to fix that a little bit, crop the bottom and top. That's very easy. All you got to do is go, go in here. Um, go to properties. And. Oh, so. So now you want to edit this right here. So you want to create. So it's very easy with OBS. All you have to do is hit the alter button and move whatever you want to move over to make it crop. Boom. And then I'm going to move this one down here. Boom. Now all that is is cropping that. So now if I want to make this my full screen, I'll just play around with it a little bit until I get my full screen that I want and adjust it anywhere I want. So I'm gonna go ahead and adjust it the way I want it, make it perfectly even so it's all looking the same. Perfect, so I'm gonna leave it like that. And now, if I wanna add my camera, I can add myself right here, no problem. But that's how it works, adding it to OBS using the air, air receiver. Very simple, guys. And look, no wire. So now I'm gonna take off my button so you could, it'll go away. And so we're gonna move all this around. We don't need all this. So let me put myself back to where I was so we could go back. All right, here we go. All right, guys, so you saw how everything works. Very simple to do. All you gotta do is go to your Microsoft store, 
by the app Air Receiver, which costs three forty nine with the, with the coupon already added on there. I don't know how long the coupons on there for. Like I said, it's been on there for a while. It hasn't changed in a long time. So I'm going to leave it as this and let it be. So, or if it does change, it only goes up $2. Not a big deal. Still, it'll cost you a lot less than buying all those wires, devices. Um, you need to chrome to cast this and have sound. This gives you the sound and picture at the same time with no wires at all. No device needed. All you need to do is buy that app. So this is basically an app review and a how-to guide for the Quest. And the good thing about the this device as well, you can use it. You can you can cast your smartphone on the screen too. So you, if you're doing something on your phone, you want to show people, that's a great app to use to display your app. Again, guys, this only works for the PC. My Mac users, I do not know if they have the same app available for Mac. You can look for it. I can't test it out because the fact is I do not have a Mac anymore. I don't even have an iPhone available anymore. So guys, that's how simple this is. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys enjoyed this video and everything I had to show you, go ahead and give me a big old thumbs up. Show me all the love and support you guys to show the channel. Also guys, don't forget to hit that share button because you don't know who's going to need this. And like I always say guys, sharing is caring. As simple as that. Guys, also, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns on anything on this video, or anything on this channel, put them in the comment box down below, and I'll get to you as fast as I can and give you an answer if I have it. If I don't have the answer, I'll direct you to the person or the place where you get the answer at. If you still haven't done so to the end of this video, hit that subscribe button and enable bell notifications so you don't miss videos like this one or when I go live on this channel. Because trust me, you do not want to miss when Semi brings you stuff to the channel. I bring great stuff. Until next time, guys, this is Junior, aka Semi, signing out from Semi to Tech. Peace.